Hello, friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie Robocop 1987 changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2022. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Ann Lewis is a police officer in the Metro West area and was the partner of Alex. She has a hardened character and is good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. With criminals, she prefers not to stand on ceremony, but she treats her friends warmly. Played by Nancy Allen. Kenny, Ken Page, is one of the employees of Omni Consumer Products, who, thanks to his intelligence and skills, was able to achieve the position of head of the department dealing with security concepts, even despite his age. He prefers not to confront Dick Jones. Clarence Bodiker is a criminal known throughout the city and who has influence in certain circles. He is used to getting what he wants and can easily kill a person, and quite cruelly, and also doesn't like when they bicker with him. Played by Kurtwood Smith. Johnson, Halton Perry is an employee of OCP where he is listed as an executive director. He prefers to keep a low profile and doesn't try to compete with Dick Jones. Wears glasses in a thin golden frame and appears at work exclusively in business suits. Emil Antonovsky along with Joe Cox worked for Clarence because of which often felt permissiveness, which he repeatedly used for free refueling, stealing or intimidating people knows how to drive a car and a motorcycle. He was ported by Paul McCrae. Leon Nash is a bodyguard's henchman and inventory criminal who, along with other members of the gang, causes rampage in Detroit. He knows how to use different types of firearms and always has a gun with him, even when dancing in a club. He was played by Ray Wise. Bob Martin is a staff member at OCP who was promoted through the successful completion of the Robocop project. He is very ambitious and didn't take his colleague's warnings about Dick Jones seriously. Played by Miguel Ferrer, who died of throat cancer in 2017. Kaplan Del Zamora works for the police and was assigned to the partner near Metro West. He is unhappy with Omni Consumer products and the general environment encounters on the job, which leads him to want to organize a police riot, wears a small mustache. The old man was at the head of Omni Consumer Products and raved about the idea of creating the most modern city without crime, which is why the ED-209 droid was created, and later Robocop. Knows how to reward good work. He was played by Daniel O'Hurley. Sergeant Reed is on duty at a police station within Metro West. He's a conscientious person for whom justice and law and order are primarily important. Reed can work of multitasking, although the such a pace is somewhat tiring his. He was played by Robert Dockley. Lieutenant Hedgecock, Michael Gregory, is a member of the police department who leads the Special Forces Fighters. If necessary, he can enter into negotiations and is also accustomed to unquestioningly follow the instructions given to him. Wears a ring on his left hand. Dick Jones is the vice president at Omni Consumer Products and was responsible for the development of the ED-209 that led to Kinney's death. He is an unprincipled type for whom the position is more important than human life. The role is played by Ronnie Cox. Manson works at the police station near Metro West where Alex transferred. He is engaged in patrolling areas during which he repeatedly has to detain criminals. Sometimes he could speak with irony about the service in their department. Played by Edward Edwards. Cell Lee Debrois is involved in the drug trade in Detroit and has his own factory for this purpose. He set the price for his product and doesn't like it when they argue with him about this, since he doesn't give any discounts. He has a slight bald head. 
Rape Wickham lives in old Detroit and is a pretty sweet woman with shoulder-length blonde curly hair. She doesn't dress vulgarly and doesn't wear short outfits, but she still aroused the interest of the rapist, however. The role is performed by Donna Keegan. Dougie, Neil Summers, was one of the bandits who obeyed the instructions of Clarence Boddicker, committed robberies and took part in shootouts with him. He worries about his health and tries not to smoke, wears a leather jacket and cap, killed by Alex Murphy. Joe Combs, Jess Goins, was a member of the Bodycare gang and was engaged in robberies and also often took part in the murders of policemen. While sincerely rejoicing in what he had done, he's not compassionate and can be extremely cruel, likes to wear a beard. Bail Bondsman showed up at the police station to read with a lawyer. He's a rather arrogant person and thinks that with the amount he has paid, he will get everything he wants, even freedom from prison for his friends. Wears Sideburns, played by Charles Carroll. Ramirez is one of the few women who serves in the police department in Metro West. She is a not shy person by nature and can easily change clothes in a common locker room with men. Ramirez has good stamina and a toned physique. She was played by Yolanda Williams. Creep, often together with his friend, can attack women for the purpose of rape, in which he also likes to cut tufts of hair from the victims. Always has a knife with him. He wears long hair that wears in a ponytail. The role is played by Bill Shockley. Just Perkins is an anchor on Media Break, and she and Casey Wong cover breaking news in the city of Detroit. She looks good in the frame and knows how to properly interact with the camera, and also has good diction. The role is performed by Lisa Gibbons. Technician number two took part in the Bob Martin project where he worked on the creation of Robocop. He is a simple, ordinary employee who clearly performs all the tasks assigned to him. Sometimes likes to read in the newspaper at work. He was supported by Daryl Cox. Chandra, Diane Robin, was one of the girls that Bob Martin spent time with. She loves to have fun and can often use both alcoholic beverages and drugs wearing. She can be recognized by her red hair and also likes to wear figure eight and somewhat massive earrings. Stark Weather, Tyrus Ellis, serves in the Detroit Police Department and is one of Ramirez's colleagues. He does job well, no matter how difficult it is for him and will never go to kill an innocent. Not conflict and is in good relations with colleagues. Alex Murphy, Robocop, is an exemplary cop. He's not afraid of difficulties and has extreme driving skills. After his death, he was transformed into Robocop, becoming a perfect machine for catching criminals, but not mindless. He was played by Peter Weller. Murphy's wife, Angie Bolling, was Alex's sweetheart and their son's mother. She's distinguished by good nature and is a loving wife and mother who tries to help her family in many ways and devote the proper amount of time to her child. She has curly hair. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.